Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, whatever it is in your time zone or the time of your listening. You have found your favorite podcast, so please sit back and relax and enjoy a brand new installment of Beyond the Bureau. (laughs) (laughs) Hello and welcome back to another episode of Beyond the Bureau. It's your hosts, Landon Gideon and Aaron Rohde here in the flesh. Absolutely stoked to bring back another episode, huh, Landon? Yep. Oh, wait. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited here. You know, could be the last one of the year. Who knows? So Who knows? But uh, it's been a while. You know, we say it's weekly, bi-weekly, maybe monthly, bi-monthly maybe even. But today we have a very special installment because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine guests today on the podcast. So 11, including ourselves here. Well, I guess we have eight and a half because Sophia is not included. But... <laughs> I mean, she could be. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, she could be if she if she wants to chime in. You know, feel free. But uh, yeah, I will. We'll let everybody introduce themselves. But we have eight of the top ten here, plus the senior class office. So we're excited to be here. I hope everyone else is. Let's go around and introduce ourselves. I'm Leah Bailey. And <laughs> what are you? Like, I'm a I'm a senior. Wow. That's, yeah, that's kind of the yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's what do you mean that's why we're here. <laughs> Like, are you, why are you in this room right now? I am number 10. <laughs> Mr. Cole, applause button. <laughs> um, hi, I'm Caleb Cannon, uh, and I'm number 7. Yeah, out of the top 10. <laughs> hi, I'm Savannah Wolf, and then I'm the class treasurer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I'm Lauren Evans, and I'm number 8. I'm Grace Sirocco, and I'm number three. I'm Zoe May, and I'm number six. I'm Callie Tasker, and I'm ninth in the class. I'm Riley Turner, and I'm class secretary. And uh, I got Lando here, class president and top five. (laughs) That's what I'm talking about. Aaron Rohde, the other co-host here, vice president and number four in the class. So Lando needs to get up, one up his game. Yeah. So It was a fight all year. It was a fight. He he took it home. You know. So, uh... Absolute studious room here. We have all the top ten almost, except for uh, one and two. So you know, thought that maybe they were too good for us, but technical difficulties. I'm getting feedback from something. I don't know what yeah, it is. I'm it. Anyway. I'm lagging. Yeah. So this is an impressive group of students we have here, Linda. Yeah, I'd say so. Put in, <laughs> we've all put in a lot of hard work, and we're here today to just reflect back on some high school memories and give our input. Heck yeah, this is an open discussion, so I mean, chime in whenever you feel like you want to. But uh, Landon and I lined up some questions. Well, mostly Landon, I'm just going to read some of them. So, All right, well, uh, we'll start off with what was your guys' number one favorite class from high school? Anybody with a real strong opinion, just blurt it out. I'll go first. Um, <laughs> my favorite high school class was probably Doc's DC Crossroads class. I think that one was a really good one. I agree. Yeah. Thank I you, agree. Leah Bailey. That is, that's true. We were in that class, too. It was a good class. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. a good teacher plus a good, like, you know, good content makes for a good class for sure. Personally, I look forward to band every single day, honestly, going into band. Yeah. You know, I love Mr. Sabula. I love playing my trumpet, so, especially during concert band, because we have a lot of work to do. So I like when we have progress to make. Makes it feel like we're doing something more. Yeah, I'd probably say band too, but aside from that, like kind of into the regular curriculum, um, I'd say maybe DC Bio with Miss Petrie, just because that was, it was a tough year for me, and it taught me to, it taught me to work harder. So yeah, I'd probably say DC Bio. If I had to pick one, it'd probably be either Mr. Minix, Algebra Two, or Pre Calc Mr. Engelhart because Algebra Two what? <laughs> yep, that class. Oh, um, <laughs> okay. I don't really like math, but they made it fun. Yes, I agree. I wish I could have had more classes with Mr. Minix. To be honest, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. it made learning fun. I think there's different ways to have a favorite class. You could have a favorite class for what you learn in it and then a favorite class for the people. 
for the people, I'd definitely go the Dur classes. Mm. Even though A Push and AP Gov sucked, those classes were all fun. That's so real. Those were the most fun. Those were the most fun classes I think I've ever. Absolutely, been with all the food days, oh my history class. Yeah, that was awesome. Wow. I really liked um, chemistry with Mr. Scholl because, like, I feel like any class you have with Scholl is going to be fun because he's just like such a fun teacher and. I feel like the class itself wasn't too hard, and we got a lot of free time and played Minecraft and did dumb stuff. <laughs> I don't know whose idea it was to put a PlayStation in Mr. Scholl's room, but give them a raise. Yeah. I think the general consensus for like most people would be um, Doc's Crossroads, but for me, I also liked Calc this year uh, with Engelhart, even though the class well, like itself was awful. Um, half the time, he would just like say stuff the entire class <laughs> just keep talking so we wouldn't really do much so this is true yeah. and i'm also in calc and i was there maybe 70 percent of the year 60 Six. <laughs> <laughs> but i did learn a lot and i do have a really good basis on calculus so if i ever need it in college i feel confident that i will have it that's the the beauty of mr engelhart right there now we're painting bricks baby <laughs> I really liked environmental. Shout out Mr. Walker. It was fun. And the zoo field trip sounded fun, even though I didn't get to go on it. Mm. And the bug boxes were very interesting. That's I don't know if anyone else took that class. No, but Mr. Walker's pretty awesome. Yeah. I like Mr. Walker. Oh, wait. We can't forget about Senor Bell's Spanish <laughs> class. Oh, yeah. Yes. yes. Um, Our Spanish three class that year with eight people on it was yeah. one of my favorite <laughs> classes of all high school. And then ours the next year with about 30 people. Yeah. Had to have been very interesting. Yeah. At least a food day a semester. <laughs> More least. like every week. Yeah. <laughs> Eating good. Senor Bell, um, I'm not forgetting about that trip to Mexican you promised us that yes! year. Yes! So I've not yes! got it. I will not we, forget. We won the art challenge. Yeah, take that, Ethan Bentz. <laughs> <laughs> if ECB is tuning into this podcast, I will be very surprised. Shout very. out, shout out. Shout out. I'll have to tell him to tune in here. Did everybody go on that one? I didn't think so. All right, uh, I guess we can, tur we can turn this next question into a two-parter. Uh, what's your guys' favorite high school memory or, like, a high favorite high school event that you went to? This is definitely a tough one. They all kind of blend together. Um, I want to say my favorite, especially from senior year, is Camp Fitch. That one definitely yeah. sticks out. Yes, it's I agree. It's a good time. Awesome. Yeah, Zoe repping. Yeah, Zoe repping the Camp Fitch shirt right now. Camp Fitch, Landon and I's junior year, we yeah. got the opportunity to be the counselors, and we brought Monopoly, and Landon, uh, Vince, and I stayed up until, like, what, 2 a.m.? Yeah, the, 2 or 3 in the morning. In the cabin playing Monopoly. And that was, then those good times. And then Vince made one of the kids cry. <laughs> <laughs> it was, that was a very fond memory of mine. Yeah, I'd, yeah. Honestly, now that you say that, I'd probably say Camp Fitch was my favorite time of high school. <laughs> yeah, nothing like no rules, <laughs> but we yeah. did keep those kids under good control. Yeah, it was good. Mr. Cole will cut out any awkward silences. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Sorry, Mr. Cole. Thank you, Mr. You know Cole. how long it takes for you to edit everything. <laughs> Let's take a second here to the fans. We shout out to Mr. Cole. He does a lot for our school and our community. So mm -hmm. thank you, Mr. Cole, for all you do. For real. We love you. For real. Yay. Seriously. All right. Well, anybody else got any favorite memories? I mean, um, just a funny, like, any stories? I'd say... Probably like all of band. I feel like there's never a dull moment, and if there is, there's always something else going on that just makes it so much fun. So. This is true. Yeah. Especially summer band. We're done with summer band yeah. now. It feels weird. We're not gonna have to go to no a band, more band camp in yeah. July. But. Band camp kind of sucked though. I know band camp did kind of suck, but <laughs> I like like I said, I like to make progress. So like, it's nice having a lot of stuff to learn. Mm -hmm. Um, I liked watching the band at halftime for all the football games. Represent. Yeah. Yeah, nice band that. dance. That was very fun. Heck yeah. yeah. Halftime was honestly just like fun. We, yeah. <laughs> like, we just went out. I don't even remember playing my instrument. I just remember jumping around. <laughs> and, like, that's no, I, I love how you guys do that. Like 
other schools are like so boring to watch, honestly. And I'm just yeah, like, yeah. I just want Garfield to come out now. <laughs> Yeah, we were just talking about this the other day. Like, other schools have way bigger bands than us, but I feel like we're always, like, louder. So much and louder. We just and we bring the energy. energy. Yeah. It's like, I don't think Mr. Sabilo was too fond of it when we were jumping around the field and doing, <laughs> doing no, chest bumps. Shoulder bumps, Definitely chest not. bumps. Well, because Mr. Sabilo would always tell me, don't get injured, and I never thought I would. But then the first game this year, when me and Vince did our chest bump, I – came down on my leg and I felt like my leg was going to break. I was so scared. <laughs> that would have been legendary. Yeah. Though. First first game no. of senior yeah. year and I almost got injured. Absolute yeah. icon. No, yeah, we never got hurt though. That was a no. that is some fond memories there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's switch it up a little bit. <laughs> we have uh like obviously we had a long journey, 4 <laughs> years. Can't believe we're already seniors, but what was the easiest and hardest year for you guys? Feel free to like comment on anything or in the middle like what you know whatever um senior year is definitely the easiest yeah. um i'm here for one period mm -hmm. and stats and cpm so it's really it's not that hard but i'd say junior year i know that's like the stereotypical answer but <laughs> <it> sucked <laughs> i think Probably senior year was the easiest, or my freshman year because I was online the first half and it was mm. it was pretty it was really easy. Um, my hardest year was probably my sophomore year. I don't know why I just remember it being kind of hard. I feel like sophomore year hardly happened. Like I mean, <laughs> yeah, it was like the hybrid or whatever yeah. it was. Yeah. We weren't even there at half the beginning the time. of the year. I'm gonna change it up and say that freshman year was actually the hardest. Um, really? Yeah. The, <laughs> I did the first half of the year online too, and I did not do well. <laughs> we'll say that. Um, but definitely, yeah. hmm? <laughs> uh, the easiest was probably senior year because yeah. I'm only here for one period and then I leave. So. Although it is so hard yeah. waking up in the morning. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably say either freshman year or senior year was the easiest. I mean, freshman year just because of everything that was going on school wasn't too hard but then also it's like senior year i'm not here for a lot of periods so i have more time to focus on things mm -hmm. but then yeah junior year can easily take the title of the hardest year of my life not bro, this just guy landed, was going i was going it. through it bro all those ccp classes I just, yeah. all the extra struggling. stuff outside of school it just it took a toll on me that's why procrastination pays off because if you yeah. wait until the day of then you don't have any stress for like a month yeah <laughs> Don't tell people that. No, <laughs> try it. Just try it for yourself no, and see if it works that's for you. Bad no, I feel like you just stress for the month while you don't do it. Yeah. No, like, and no, then you're just like you triple stressed You have to learn to just let out. it go. You have to learn <laughs> yeah. to let it go. It in, like the, builds in the back up. of your mind. You yeah. feel it. Yeah. You feel yeah. it. No. Just try it out. Yeah. I feel like freshman year is definitely easy, but like that's because I didn't learn anything. I kind of looked up true. like literally everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I remember uh, Greg Walker's biology class, though. I do remember learning in that one. With uh, we had Ethan Bittens, Andrew, Andrew Webb, Webb, Charlie Schneider, Charlie Schneider. <laughs> Dude, that was that was a group and a half right there. I liked that class. That was probably one of my favorites too, to be honest. Yeah, that was a good one. You'd I like coming in Walker. late every day, and Mr. Walker was gonna give you detention, but he never did. <laughs> Mr. Walker, please no. Yeah, I remember. I remember from that class, uh, me and Callie did the frog dissection, and she made me do everything. <laughs> I made my partner do everything too. It was so disgusting. Because they smelled like silver. I like that. No, it smelled just <laughs> gross. Yeah. My hands know, smelled like, so bad for the rest of the day. I would be in a store and I'd just like get a whiff of like the frog and I'm like, oh. the gloves. I'm going insane. The gloves too also smelled like so bad. Got stuck in your nose. And that nasty like white powder on them too would get all over your hands. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're doing that now and Mr. Walker like didn't want to reuse too many gloves so he like. This was yesterday. He had the same pair of gloves on and he just went to the bathroom and washed them. Wow. <laughs> He's saving the earth though. One pair of reduce, gloves. Reuse, reuse, recycle. <laughs> no. Um, I think that, okay, senior year is kind of easy just because. Doesn't even count. <laughs> I'm like at home, but I decided to take four Kent classes mm -hmm. the past semester and that was probably the worst idea I could have ever done in my life. Um, but. I think I think sophomore year was pretty hard actually because I just like going back from COVID that you d you just have to like retrain yourself and actually doing school mm. so this is true coming back after a six month basically vacation like, yeah <laughs> insane um yeah 
Also on that subject, I'd like to point out, not just junior year, but pro probably the first semester of junior year with uh, Hiram Psych 101. Oh my god. Yes, <laughs> oh my god. Don't, don't get me I feel like everybody that. here who didn't even take it knows about the yeah. horrors of Psych 101. Yeah. It was, so crazy. It was awful. But you um, know what? That was character development. Our school does not offer that class anymore. Long story short. <laughs> yeah, that's all you need to know. That is all that you class. need to know. We were the class that... Uh, I still don't have a final grade. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I wrote an eight-page paper the night before I went to Disney World on <laughs> winter break. A whole seven-page paper, and I never got a grade for yeah. it. Yeah. Probably, honestly, better for my grade than worse, but, yeah. you know, still. <laughs> the Just, last grade that I got in that class was a zero on a, on a, <laughs> on a weekly paper because he said... I already used that prompt, which was no. such a oh. lie. You were supposed to use the prompts more than once. Yeah, yeah, that's what, what I did. It? And he said, mm, no, you, you get a zero. Yeah. Every yeah, single day, all. she would come in study hall. I can't believe what he just, <laughs> okay. That's also, so Joe Sparks in no. the discussions oh, of that class. That was so, so funny. funny. In his responses. See, character development. And now we can all look back and laugh. Even though it was the biggest headache for, what, like four months? Yeah. yeah. We didn't even get into the class until, what, like halfway through September when two papers were due? Mm -hmm. Remember that? Yeah. And then the first grade didn't go in until, like, the end of November. Yeah. Yeah, people kept emailing him, and he just, like, wouldn't answer. No, he had a policy where if you emailed him, you would lose extra credit. If it was something was that was said in the syllabus. Wait, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. That's so <laughs> that's crazy. They didn't even read the syllabus. No. They didn't read the syllabus. Kent classes could never. Yeah. Uh, yeah, when I took an online class on, from Kent last semester, it was way oh, better yeah. put together. Go Flashes. Yes. I Go took Flashes. <laughs> <laughs> I took Psych in person at Kent this year, and it was like my favorite class ever mm. like i feel like i learned so much that's awesome yeah i love the content of psych yes i yeah. agree the content was like great but then you did the stuff insane <laughs> no i no i was just gonna say i took psych online through kent and it was definitely better than what you guys were describing yeah. <laughs> i didn't do the work but you know <laughs> last minute but better. you did it you were yeah. there I had I had to take in person classes through Hiram because if I would have taken online classes then I would have like been the death of myself and had to write ten papers in a night or something like that and every time or like I took a the in person classes like I had to do work to show up so it's like kept me honest that was probably one of my smarter decisions <laughs> I wish I did that yeah that's kind of what I miss about like the earlier years of high school is like actually coming in so you have to do the work mm -hmm. being held accountable because right. right now. Uh -uh. You gotta develop that habit now too, because in college nobody is going no to chase cares. you down and get the work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, like you know people in high school, like you're gonna get to college and you're sitting next to someone and you're not gonna know who they uh, are. Yes, I don't scary. think I would have passed high school without Landon and Gideon right here, <laughs> because it'd be the day before something was due and he's like, "You do this," and I'm like, "I didn't even know that was a thing." So, <laughs> thank you for letting me know about that. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Um, it is sentimental that we're seniors. I know most people are like, oh, I'm so glad to get out of high school, but really I am sad about it. So what is like one thing or multiple things or whatever that you miss the most leaving high school? I'm gonna miss being a part of like a sports team. Mm -hmm. It's not, like a yeah. little family. No, not even. Yeah, it's like it's a community more than just like in college you're on your own, especially yeah. if you go to a bigger college. But I mean, you can make a small community, but it's never gonna be the same in a way, like we'll never have exactly what we had here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I think I'm gonna miss like the feeling of like comfortability, like mm -hmm. knowing everybody, mm -hmm. knowing the town, like mo especially going like farther away for college. Go Bucks. Uh, yes! <laughs> oh, yes. I know. <laughs> um, it's just gonna be really like scary compared to like how feeling comfortable here. Yeah, definitely. No, I agree. I think the environment of such a small town and a small school is so great. Like, mm -hmm. you'll meet people from other schools and they're like, oh, yeah, I have 300, 400 people in your class. And you're like, well, I know everyone since mm -hmm. kindergarten, which is so crazy. I love it personally. I love the small school. Like, yeah. Vibe. I like the bond you get with your teachers after a whole yeah. year spending mm -hmm. a period in their class. Like, some of these teachers I don't think I'll ever forget. That's true. And That's something I'm It's really a good feeling. Miss. Like, you're not going to get that close with your professors, yeah. at least not all of them. Like or, honestly, hear. seeing people in the hallway and just, like, seeing some of the things that happen. Like, this year, <laughs> I've even missed that. Like, being at home, I don't see anyone. But, like, like the anything but a backpack day, like, those are my favorite <laughs> yeah. days and stuff like that. Like, I don't think I'll get that at college. Right. Not as much, at least. 
the thing I'm going to miss the most is, like, seeing the people that you know you're probably not going to hang out with. Like, I don't know how much I'll see, like, any of you guys other than at grad parties. Like, after that, how often are we going to see each other? But it's, like, it's those people that you talk to maybe once a week. And it's, like, those are the people that, I don't know. For me, it just, like, makes, like, going to school so much more, like, fulfilling. Because, like, how often do we get to see each other? It's, like, not often. And I love making conversations with people that, you know, you don't see every day. Like, friends through circumstance. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, it's also like weird how the this last year has like brought us together more, mm -hmm. and like I feel like we've all never talked. Yeah, <laughs> like <laughs> we have been like classes before, but never at a class. Not a big so. group yeah. either. Like yeah, I saw a post on Instagram that said, "Anyone noticed that the last month of school, all the seniors seem to come together?" And when I saw that post, mm -hmm. I was like, "Okay, no way, our class is ever going to do that." But now I'm like starting to actually see it. Kind yeah, because well, it's like you work. You work together on so many things. Like, we had the senior skip day where, what, 12 of us were there. Yeah. It's like, I mean, hey, yeah. but it, it was like, when would that group get together outside yeah. of that? It's like... There's still people who are not ever going to participate in stuff. Right. But but it's like, you definitely see people more, which is surprising. I think it'll be like kind of a rude awakening when we all go our own ways next fall and it'll be like, wait a minute, none of these people are here. Yeah. Like, yeah. we've been gotten so used to it, seeing the same people for mm -hmm. what's been like 13 years and right. now it's not going to be there. Also, I feel like, I mean, this could be wrong, but I think college is going to be, like, a little bit colder. Like, I don't feel people will be as, like, welcoming or, like, not e exactly that, but, like, as willing to accept you into a group, like, immediately. Like, here, all, like, everybody wants to, like, you know, you find a small group that people want to accept you into. And I feel like in college, it's going to be hard, like, starting out. Yeah. I'd say... Something that I always notice is there's always so much going on in the fall semester of high school and like there's always something to seem to have like you can do and I think that's probably what I'm going to miss most is the fall semester is always just such a vibe because there's always a lot going on. This is true. I also think your number of friends like in high school you could have two or three friends and still have a ton of classes with them mm -hmm. but in college if you have that many friends and you have different majors you're not going to see them yeah. at any point throughout the day so that could be rough if... You know, I don't make friends. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I feel like joining, like, <clears throat> clubs and groups in college is going to be, like, vital. Especially yeah. since I'm commuting, like, from home. So I'm not going to be in a dorm where I'm going to meet people. It's like, I'm going to have to make friends at clubs and stuff. Yeah, I feel like I'm going to have to beg people, like, spare change. <laughs> be, be, my, be my friend, please. <laughs> spare for, for another. Got room for another. Yeah. I feel like everyone else, like... At college is gonna be like desperate for friends though like at least your freshman year and like make other freshman friends because mm -hmm. it's like no one knows anybody unless like i feel like right. everyone from Hiram and kent you'll probably know but like <laughs> i was looking at the board outside and like no one's going to the school i'm going to it's just a private school and who knows where yeah so it's like really scary that way right well, there's there's definitely going to be people who reached out like me and landon both posted on the osu meet page and i had like 10, 10 to 15 girls text me within the first day being like, hey, you're so cool, let's be friends. And I'm like, <laughs> just that aspect of college, I, I hope it's mm. like that when you meet in like in person and stuff like that. Yeah, that's the one. I mean, we're all in the same spot going into, like I'm sure other freshmen are feeling the same way in college. So it's like, why not reach out and like make a friend? Because yeah, they're probably definitely. feeling the same way. Especially if you're going to be seeing those people a lot. Like, make the friends in your classes. Because you're going to be, like, if you're a psych major, like I plan on doing, and I'm going to see those people every day in, like, every classes, or all of my classes. Yeah, pro probably for yeah. years. Yeah. Because, like, it's all the same curriculum. Right. Yeah. So, make the friends early. Establish the bonds. Yes, and everyone's going to be scared, and that's mm -hmm. okay. Because mm -hmm. it's a good. part of growing up. A lobster... Wait, what is the lobster analogy? <laughs> yeah, Mr. Engelhardt say it. Oh, when a lobster gets uncomfortable, then it gets out of its shell and gets a bigger shell. So you need to be uncomfortable mm -hmm. to grow. Nothing good happens in your comfort zone. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Except comfort. But. <laughs> Anybody else? All right. Um, is there anything? So these are kind of go hand in hand. Is there anything you wish you could have done differently in high school, or is there any advice you'd give to your freshman self? 
Speaking of freshman self, who's ready to get those like freshman time capsule like paper things? I was just oh. thinking no, about no. that no. yesterday. No, From those keep me yeah. up at night. I, I literally, I'm so I'm scared. I'm so scared to see what happens. Uh-huh. Didn't we do one in sixth grade too? Yeah. Or yeah. 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 fifth grade, Mrs. Grade. Kelly's. Fifth grade time yeah. Capsule, yeah. So. yeah, actually, I didn't do a freshman year one because I had, um, you had Doc, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh no. I didn't do a freshman year no, one either. I did. So, I had Miss Miller. Miss Penny about that one. Yeah. I feel like we made one in elementary school. Yeah, in fifth grade. Yeah. Did we? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That, everyone's going to get those. When do we get them after graduation? Or? I thought that they'd give them out at the awards night, but that already happened. I think it's graduation practice. Yeah. Is it? Oh, okay. I think, okay. yeah, yeah, that's right, because we were passing them out last year. I hope that, that um, if I address things to other people, they give it to me first so right. that I can, <laughs> I can proofread. Yeah. I have to get Crestwoods to send mine over. I wonder if they do that. I bet they would. Because I missed out. <laughs> yeah, I bet they would. Why not? Anyways, back to the main. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Lauren. Um, I don't know. What was the question again? <laughs> uh, is there anything you'd do differently or any advice you'd give to your freshman self? Oh, I feel like I would, like, like I'm in a lot of extracurricular curriculars, like, this year, but I feel like I would have, like, joined them sooner. Like, I didn't join golf until my sophomore year, but if I did it my freshman year, I could have got another patch. <laughs> and then... Um, like it's interact good. i didn't even know interact was a thing until i saw people getting awards and i was mm. like i want another award how do i get that <laughs> <laughs> and so like then i joined it but i would have definitely been more involved my freshman year yeah. i think i speak for callie on this one too we would have joined soccer sooner and quit volleyball <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah. <laughs> The environment for soccer was just a lot better for us personally, so I think going back, that that's a change I would have made. Going along with that, um, I definitely probably just wouldn't have started volleyball. <laughs> um, and no just went, volleyball, went, but... went straight to cross country, although it sucked too. It was, like they said, just a better environment. <laughs> Speaking of soccer, if you know any young boys that need a high school team to play on, <laughs> send them over. Young lads. Any young strapping lads that need to play on a soccer team. <laughs> Um, speaking of cross country, I wish that I didn't quit my last year. Um, I was just, I just wanted to get used to like the college stuff. And then I only took like two classes. So I was just kind of sitting at home by myself. Um, so yeah, don't, don't quit. If you feel like you're doing too much, just kind of just ease out of it. Just don't cold and turkey it. (laughs) Um, me personally, I, f- I kind of feel like my high school years didn't really start until like junior year mm-hmm. when I started like actually like making a lot of friends. Um, so if I were to tell like my freshman year self something, like actually talk to people maybe. <laughs> yeah, I'd say the same thing. Yeah. I feel like I've always kind of stuck with the small friend group that I have, mm-hmm. but I low-key wish that I maybe would have reached out to a few more people. Yeah, and also do more extracurriculars because your college application is going to look really blank. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> no community service. Yeah. Um, if anybody's listening, do interact. Yes. Please. Yes. We Please. need more members for next year, guys. <laughs> if anyone wants to be an interact officer, there's yeah, two spots available. Come on at me. Yeah, because no one showed I... up to our last meeting. Yeah. I'm looking at a couple of people. The shade. Hey, I graduated. I got my interact letter last year, and then I forgot to turn in any hours this year and didn't go to any of the meetings. So you know what? <laughs> You're like a lot of other people. But so I you could have lettered. You, you had Camp yeah. Fitch on your belt. You could have yeah, got know, another letter. Right? That's, that's so easy. Hours. Yeah, that's the only paper I turned in. Like, right? I did yeah, other yeah, stuff, yeah, and I'm too. like, just take this one. It's the only one that I you need. I had like 90 hours this time. Wow, Good and job. I felt kind of guilty, like not actually showing up to anything, and then just turning in my hours. Oh, I, I did that, so don't feel bad. Uh, <laughs> okay, well, that's good. It's okay. We got through the year. Yay! That's all that matters. That's right. That's yeah. the. I think that's like the beauty of high school is we were able to try so many things. Like before we go to college, we kind of have an idea of what we want to be a part of, and like we our identity has been shaped over the last four years. Like I've changed so much in the last four years. Like it's actually insane. I mean, I guess I would hope that everyone would change from their freshman self. But. Same. But, yeah. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, I think that's the beauty of high school. I've tried, I think, everything I've wanted to in high school, like little samples of it. So that way in college, I know what to like totally focus my time on. And that's exciting to me. Yeah, I would I would have to agree with that. I, I just wish I would have done more and I would have stuck with like the hobbies that I maybe might have not been so good at because you're gonna get to college and you're gonna want to try these things but then all these other people around you are already gonna be like masters at all these things and then you're just like well 
I suck. Why should I keep doing it? <laughs> that is the good thing, though. Like, even though, like, high school, we're like, oh, we're leaving. It's over. But, like, we only, we're only 18 when we graduate. It's yeah, like, that's we're gonna true. Have, 17? Still, okay. <laughs> yeah, me too. Some of us. <laughs> yes. Some of us are young. But I turn 18 in eight days, so. Or, yeah, we're never the 20. Aaron, Aaron, Aaron's, early Aaron's birthday, birthday is Thanks, on guys. the day of the uh, movie night next week. Yeah, you know. Yeah, we'll I can't believe they planned it just for me. <laughs> <gotta go Monday. laughs> Let's bring cupcakes. No, but uh, that is the like the beauty of it as well. Is we're so young still. Like we think we're grown up, but college is still going to be a whole like experience of school and things that we can try out and new experiences. So always growing opportunities. Mm-hmm. Any further discussion on that? I'm just I, I just think there's like some solace in realizing that everybody's in the same position as you. Yeah. So you're not alone in the fact that you feel like confused and scared. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Well, uh, what are you guys' plans for graduation? Sorry, Riley, did you want to say something? Okay. What are you guys' plans for gradu- after graduation? Attending can... Miami University Same. in the fall. Grace Sirocco. Go, Go Red, Red Hawks. Hawks. You are too? Yeah. Grace Sirocco and Riley Turner too. It's going to be great. Yep. It's going to be great. going to get two good ones. Yep. Sure. What are you going for? Speech pathology and audiology. I'm going for biology. It's oh, going to yeah. be fun. Very smart girls right Thank here. You. We have three Buckeyes, right? Three Buckeyes. The Ohio State University. Yes. Music education. OH. IO. <laughs> it's a cult. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you uh, best yeah. believe it. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm not joking that cool. Over here? Yonder? What? Leah and Caleb. What are y'all majoring in? I am an environmental science major. Public management, leadership, and policy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't already say it, uh, music education. Of course. Let's what else? Yes. Music Man 06, the handle. Yep. Come on. <laughs> Music dot man underscore oh, yes. Oh, yes. 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 That's not that's my fault. <laughs> the full handle. Hey, what happened to Lego James 23? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Panther yeah. bro. Panther bring bro. bring, him, bring <laughs> them back. Yeah. Bring back old Instagram usernames. Yeah. Absolutely not. Putting your friends' names in your bios. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Bring back 11-11s. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what was... Oh, okay. <laughs> Make a wish. I never really did that stuff. So. I used to, like, never post on my story. I didn't have... I, did, I never really used to use Snapchat. So you would like, just make an Instagram post. I would just make an Instagram post for everything and, and make the caption in all caps. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it was nothing exciting. It I, was also always you playing just like a random instrument and it's yeah, like the, and the just, videos are like five minutes long yeah <laughs> what else would you expect from music man yeah, okay. <laughs> music gotta spread, it's art dudes gotta spread the art yeah that's right so uh what else are the college plans here um going to kent state Go majoring flashes. in integrated oh. mathematics which is integrated mathematics yeah. it's basically Integrals, so i can huh? be a middle school math teacher but wow it's a 7 through 12. And you didn't take calc yeah regretting it that's right unfortunate now. Oh. major hey, change maybe was, in the future you know but I, have, we'll I know what integrals are pretty well <laughs> um northern kentucky zoe may on the mic by the way <laughs> and callie tasker was last so. um, <laughs> for exercise science heck yeah it's a good field Woo. northern kentucky that's out there only How about far four of a drive hours. Is it? Four hours? That's yeah. still four hours away. That's, that's, not, that's, that's not that bad. That's a haul. <laughs> yeah. Are you nervous to move that far away? Um, sure. <laughs> that's, that's like okay. a weekend drive, though. Like you could definitely come home for the weekend if you. Yeah, really it's feel. not too far, but it's far enough. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You go. You go. <laughs> I'll go. Um, Lauren on the mic. I'm going to University of Finley. Go Oilers. Um, Oilers. I know. Oilers. I, I can't. <laughs> I can't escape the like funny mascot names, that's and the awesome. colors are um, black and orange. So that's not much Ooh, of a change either. Right. You won't even have to throw away all your old black and gold stuff. I know. Not that you throw. I away never ever. would. Or burn yeah. it. <laughs> G-men forever. Right. Yeah. Once a G-man, always a G-man. Yeah. 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 Peep the graduation speech here in a couple of weeks. <laughs> Everybody tune in. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> um, and I'm majoring in animal science and pre-veterinary medicine. Ooh. Yay. Sure. This is Sophia. Um, I'm going to Kent State. Go flashes. Go flashes. <laughs> um, I'm majoring in psych and minoring in dance. Ooh, Ooh. very expressive. <laughs> this is Savannah. I'm going to University of Cincinnati with majoring Go in. <laughs> yeah. Majoring in nursing, minoring in neuroscience. Ooh. Wait, are they the Bobcats? I think. Beer I thought cats. it was Bearcats. Beer, Bearcats. Yeah. Beer cats. Oh, oh, OU is the Bobcats. Bushlock cat. Yeah, OU is Bobcats. OU. Yeah. I know a couple people from OU. Boo. Andrew Wem. Boo. In great company. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes. And then, of course, the two are. Buckeyes over here. 
So we got yeah. three flashes, three Buckeyes, a beer cat. <laughs> <laughs> what are your plans, uh, Aaron? An oiler. <laughs> and what are you guys? Hawks. The Red Hawks. I almost said Red Devils because they oh, – the oh, camp, the no, no. no. Well, no, the only reason – because it's like the same uh, – Miami University has the same logo as Campbell. So that's what I don't know. Uh, we don't right. talk about that. That's right. <laughs> we don't have to talk about that. This is true. We got some bright futures ahead of us. Oh, me? Oh, I'm going to Kent State and majoring in psych, so I'll probably see Sophia quite a bit. So uh, I, mean, I don't think I'm going to minor in anything. I was going to minor in music, but I think that's a lot. Mr. Walker told me if you are a psych major, minor in like a ton of things. Really? Yeah. He said his son does that. So. Okay. That's good yeah. advice. See, Because I'm going in blind. I don't know. Another Gregory Walker banger over here. <laughs> Gregory. So you guys looking forward to graduating or not? Yes. yes. Overall. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I don't think I could do any more high school work. Yeah. I'm like tapped out. Yeah, that senioritis is kicking in. <laughs> Pretty general consensus of yes then. Yeah, I would agree. Um, it is, like I said, like everybody's been saying, it's scary, but I'm ready to leave. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Let me really out. We're, yeah. reading, we're reading a book in Miss Fallhaber's right now where this group of kids is in their senior year in like the last couple months. And Miss Fallhaber was just talking to us like, are you guys getting nostalgic yet? And realizing that there's like, this is, you're having a lot of laughs in these last mm -hmm. couple months. And I'm like, I realize it's like, if we never had any lasts, we wouldn't know to cherish things That's because we, we would just assume that they would never if end. We, if we had more than four years of high school, then we wouldn't, like, it wouldn't yeah. be as we maybe <laughs> We probably all wouldn't be sitting in this room right now. Right. Yeah, that's it true. It wouldn't be as sentimental, and you wouldn't have as many good memories if it was just like if it was longer or like you had more time. Because I think the fact that it shows so short is why what makes it so good. You know, you can look back on it fondly. And if you can't look back on it fondly, you still have a whole life ahead of you. So it's like. And you can't you can't have last if you don't have first. So like without. That's a bar. But like, for the first are so exciting. Like you get to meet so many new friends right, yeah. and like so many new experiences just relive high school all over again with those first <laughs> right it's like you can reinvent yourself too like because obviously i don't want to be the same as my freshman year self in high school and college so it's yeah, like you get to true. become in a totally new person uh going back to just like memories the other day my brother pulled out his yearbook and was just like talking about all the people in his class and it just like makes me think Oh, we're gonna have our yearbook soon, right. and like I'll look back. Get at your yearbooks. Uh, yeah, yearbook .org. <laughs> I've been seeing, I've been I seeing all the old yearbooks. yearbooks that are out there. Like, yeah, like, right? yeah, from like 1965, I think. And like also the way he was like talking about people in his class, I'm like, I hope people don't talk about me like that. <laughs> right. <So> like, <laughs> uh -huh. No, I can't wait to be like those seniors that are a couple years out that like people see. They're like, oh, they graduated a couple years ago. You know, like the 2020 class, like that was a while ago. Yeah, that was like that four weird. years ago. That's weird. Like I, want, I can't wait to be those people to be able to come back and like yeah. be a celebrity. It's it's weird <laughs> to think that the people who graduated in 2020 are getting a bachelor's in college. Yeah, it's yeah. like yeah. if wow. yeah, it's proud of them. It's weird to <laughs> Graduating know. together. Yeah. Part of me hopes that college will go will feel. As quick as it does in high school, because I'm really anxious to just get out there and start my career. I think what that's a guy. scary. That's <laughs> true. Like, if you have everything planned out, then yeah. But like, that's Lennon's, really scary. Wait, Lennon's addicted to the grind, so <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a grind set. I already think about money. <laughs> right. Get his money up, not his funny up. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> um, no, but talk about like the yearbooks. Um, my parents still look at, back at theirs from like the 2000s, yeah. and they're like, "I hated that girl." Like, <laughs> I, it just makes me realize that we will never let go. <laughs> Um, and I'll never forget like the people that I actually liked too. Uh, right, right. <laughs> so it's just there's always memories like that to look back on. Because most of the people that you like see in high school, you're not gonna form relationships or bonds with outside of high school. So they're like frozen in that like aura, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah. <laughs> it's like yeah, it's funny. I can't wait to look it back at old yearbooks when I'm like 60 years old. <laughs> like I even see people now like from that I haven't seen since last year I'm like who are these people they don't look the same as they did yeah. before yeah right. some people like completely changed and some people just like stayed the exact same. Mm -hmm. <laughs> shout, out, shout out to him shout out Sean Shea Calc student of the year actually yes. it was nice seeing him this year it was deserved it was deserved he did better than any of us oh, uh, <laughs> and that was not very hard to do but he excelled <laughs> yeah yeah the bar was low but he very much exceeded he it he said it higher yeah but um, anything else anyone wants to say? I want to go back to the yearbook thing. Um, <laughs> my dad went to Garfield, so it's like I get to 
like see his picture like hanging up in the hallway and stuff and i yeah. um the one by like the attendance office i took a picture of that the other day and i showed it to him and he's like pointing out all the people and like i could see his like best friend who's still friends with and um Miley's dad and Madison's mom they were in his class so it's mm. like funny that I know them but like then he was like oh like this guy like he's like not with us anymore I was like that's like so sad and it's like well, like don't you die. never know like after graduation like what's gonna happen with everyone so I'm like excited for the reunion already <laughs> I really yeah, I'm really so excited to see where everyone goes with their career I think it's yeah. interesting to see like all of our different majors and mm -hmm. what different interests everyone has so I'm kind of excited it's kind of crazy how like time doesn't stop for anybody like mm -hmm. our parents were in high school they probably don't feel like much different than when they were in high school you know they still have the same like psyche they're still the same people but 30 years later whatever it is it's crazy if there's one thing good thing about social media i think that we can all keep tabs on each other <laughs> so we can like see each other's growth as it happens i yeah. think that's gonna be fun unless you unfollow everybody after graduation which i wouldn't blame you off the grid yeah <laughs> and she knows you don't follow everyone right that's yeah. what i'm saying I need, to, I need to know what's going on my trauma. mom like finds facebook friends and she's like oh my gosh i haven't talked to her since high school it's like <laughs> we, we won't have that problem because no. we still we have we see everyone's instagram posts like we'll know what everyone's up to i think um, at least the people we want to know who yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know? all right well it's almost end of the period mm -hmm. here uh thank you guys for being here and thanks for uh putting this together so quickly we thought of this yesterday yeah this is about 24 crazy. hours ago <laughs> a last minute plan that actually worked this yeah. is insane thank and you uh, guys. Con congratulations this is probably the longest podcast episode to date i'm hey. say about 40 minutes 40 45 minutes here Holy crap. love it so oh some good reminiscing but yeah thanks for letting me join in <laughs> yeah so be a more the merrier the, cut. <laughs> the more the merrier that's mm -hmm. right i was worried how it was going to work out with 10 12 people but i thought we did a good job well, to the viewers, we hope you guys enjoy, or I guess the listeners, I'm not looking at anything. But <laughs> we hope you guys enjoyed this installment of the podcast with uh, everybody here. Yeah. The whole crew. The whole crew. But uh, I'm Aaron Rohde. I'm Landon Gideon. And hopefully we won't be signing out for the last time, but uh, you never know with us. So. Hey, is, uh, coming up, we will be getting the old morning show crew together, Cam Edwards, Grace Edwards, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll also be getting us two and Hallie for some hot ones. So we'll be looking out on... The, uh, Stay updated on the Jag socials. Yeah. Go G-Men. <laughs>